Okay, here we have the waveform of an alternating voltage. It has a maximum of plus 5 and a minimum of negative 5. And the question is, what is the average voltage? Now, because it spends equal amount of time in the positive voltage and in the negative voltage, technically the average should be 0. But this is not useful because that will give us a power of 0. So what we use instead is the root mean square voltage. The root mean square voltage of an alternating voltage is the direct voltage at which it has the same power as the alternating voltage. So we're trying to find a direct voltage. It turns out it's roughly here, which gives the same power. And it's calculated using this equation. Uh, and you can work out the root mean square current as well using this equation. Now, v peak is the maximum voltage. In this case, it's v peak is equal to 5 volts. Now, if I divide that by root 2, I can get the root mean square voltage. In this question, it turns out it's 3.54 volts. And then this is the value I should use when calculating the power in equations like P equals IV and so on. This will give me the correct power. Okay, here we've connected the alternating power supply to an oscilloscope, which measures the voltage on the y-axis and time on the x-axis. So the two important variables is the volts per division and the time base, which is the time per division. So on the y-axis, we've got 1, 2, 0. 0.6, so 2.6 divisions. So if we multiply that by the volts per division, we get 5.2 volts. Now that's the peak voltage. If I divide that by root 2, I can get the um, RMS, which is 3.68 volts. If I want to find the frequency or the time period of this uh, waveform, I I'll have to measure the number of waves we have. So we can measure from here to here. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 divisions, and each division is worth 1.0 times 10 to the minus 3 seconds and that but then what we can do is we need to divide that by two because there's two whole waves in that section so that gives us a time period of four times ten to the power of minus three seconds and we can work out the frequency using one over t if we wanted